Hi right, YouTube. Uh, it's all changed day today for the Triumph. But first of all, I thought I'd just show you where I keep my uh, motorbike uh, bench. Uh, I've got a motorbike bench in here. Well, you can't see it at the moment. It is tucked away under the bench. So I thought I'd just give you a little um, rundown of where I keep it, and now I go back and get it out. Right. First of all. You have to get this bracing bar out. Get rid of that. All the bits and pieces we'll look at it. Has to be stuck. There out. And there's a bit of a flat to get out. And then they come out one way. Let's use this way and the other way. Now the other way. We'll get there eventually. We'll get there. It's very tight, isn't it? It's a perfect thing to have. So that's what I do. I'll put that on there. Put me back on. set up it does make it life so easy with one of these then I'm gonna blow off so I know what bits are on there that are off the bike Here the other end, and I can maybe feel me getting it in. I don't know whether I can or not because no, I'm not going to get you back forward enough. With any
No, ať ty jí zbyt. No, už to bude, když byt ne. To bude jak? Poč. Je to někde. Anyway, that's how I'll, I'll get it sorted. I'll bring you back when I'm uh, ready to do the oil and filter change. Bye for now. Good, welcome back YouTube. I've got it up on the stand and I've cleaned, uh, well, 95% of the shit from around everything. I just, uh, I have spent two hours today giving it a good bloody clean and wash and I have done underneath. Well, now I can see a lot of shitty places now, but um, the majority of it's off. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, because of how I've got my oil filter mounted, got it underneath on a bracket here, it makes it impossible. It's right against the back here, and I cannot get my hand around it to physically undo it. So, what I have to do is use this cast off snap on old clamp of my son's and just crack it off first it's not as tight, it's physical, just cannot physically get your hand around it to, to undo it so what I like to do is crack that off first because being as it's mounted to the uh, plate if I take the plate off, it means I, I can struggle like anything to get the oil filter off, so I'll take that off and what I like to do as well is take the oil filter off first. Keep all the oil out of that. And then what I do after I shall go over that with a magnet in a bag. And uh, just check for any metal filings because if there is going to be any way they're going to be hanging around the filter so what I do I'll keep that all separate that bit of all separate and also the one under the uh, at the crank I'll also keep that separate as well as I'm drying that now when that's finished dripping See, I've got a magnet, a magnet on the bottom here. Ooh. I'll keep on, it just helps if there is any metal filings, pull it to the bottom of the filter and keep it there, keep it out the suspension of the oil. So it does help a little bit. Get that back in there. And then also drain the Mm. 
mean, it looks pretty clean anyways. It looks fairly clean. I don't leave it. It's once a year he gets it, whether I've used it, whether it does many miles or not. He gets an old change. It's cheap stuff. And even better when you buy, I went to buy a gallon of Morris's oil. Um, should have been 1995. Uh, I got to the counter, he says 12 by 95, please. I thought, oh, thank you very much. He'd obviously read the room in nine as a two. He charged me 12.95, so I'd be, what, six, seven pounds? Be very decent of him. So, he's had a cheap oil change this year. All these bits will get washed out and blowed out with the airline and put back in. What I'll do now is uh, See. What we'll do now is keep that separate. That one. And I should put a magnet in a bag in it and see how we go from there. Right, now I'll take the, the main one out. It's very hard to get the lights around here and see where you're going at the same time as well. I'm going to do my best. There we go. Get this out. I'll give me a cup of washer before it sticks to the end up in the bloody tray. Sure to end up in a bloody tray, got a fish fillet in the bottom. And I know I should be wearing gloves, but and I have got some under there, but I just don't like wearing them. <laughs> Bad of me, I know. The only reason I've got the plastic down is because. I've got an aluminium checker plate on here. And what happens when you leak, it gets under the checker plate. And you can never get it out, it keeps leaping out of the plate. It drips down. It's a bloody nuisance. I should do the clutch after as well, drain the clutch down. Yeah, I've had this oil filter on here, I've made a bracket here. You can see it a bit better now, see? And the oil filter's on, it's very close to that plate there, and you just you basically can't get your hand around to, to undo it, that's why I have to use a strap. Anyway, I'll keep it about there. Oops, I don't know. I know I'm going to be in the way a bit now, but go be out.
<clears throat> it does make it a bit more awkward for changing the oil for taking the plate off with this oil filter connected, but it just puts it down out of way, out of sight. Yeah, it just fits nice into there. Right, we have a screwdriver, another one stuck. Oh, I've got my magnet as well. Don't oh, go in there, please, don't go in there. It's stainless, I can't get it out with a magnet. Tight one. Oh, let's just crack the washer first. Oh, that's got it. I know my hands are going to be in the way, but there's a lot I can do about that. It's just not a lot of room to get in. The washer got now, it's stuck. There's one. Right, that's out the way. Now, I want to try and save the gasket because I don't think I've got a new gasket for this. First signs of it looks pretty good. Doesn't look anything serious on it. Nothing major on there. Well, I can see no metal anyway. So we'll give that a good wash off after and. This is a good sign. Right, I'll bring you back once I've uh, cleaned everything up and ready to put it back together. Right, welcome back. I just uh, try and get you in here if I can. Just basically, you need to scrub up. Making sure it's. Uh, Come just be clean before you put it back together. I only look around and I can actually know physical signs of any going wrong, like oil, uh, metal bits or nothing. But the magnet, the magnet will sort that out. It all looks good. I'm not 
going to be stirred a gasket because the gasket is on there is stuck on there. I never use anything on these, I just put always put them on dry. I've never been never at all like or anything I don't want to put it to the concealer around anything or gasket glue. And I put on sensibly, it's okay, but uh, uh, I just think if it leaks I'll put some on, but if it don't, I've never really had a problem with it leaking. So I'm pleased all them are looking pretty clean and there's no signs of uh, any damage. Right, I'll be back in a minute, we're just going to go wash them out. Right, I've, I've given all them a good wash out with soapy, lots of soapy water. Blowed them out with the airline, so they are all spotlessly clean now. But what I need to do now... ...is get cleaned up under here, as you can see. to get the light in to show you. I hope you can see. The gasket's still in place in there so I'm not actually going to take the gasket off and leaving it on. Trying to see whether I could get you to show you how I got my oil filter on, but it's a bit of a pig to show you. So, that will do. Put all this back on, nice and clean. Uh, the gasket's decided to come off now. Never mind, hold it down Blake. We're good. Right. Let's set back on. Uh, I've got stainless snuts and washers on there, so... I want to leave a bit of oil on the threads. It helps with stainless. Just get one on and I can hold it all. That's better. Flat washer, spring washer. Should have done really well, I'm waiting now. I should have put the, uh, the oil filter to soak, put the oil in the oil filter to soak, and I forgot about it. Never mind. I think what I'm going to do is go and find me a socket to go on here. Me a socket on. Yeah, I have to excuse my arm and bands and 
Can't be seen much in the way. Life a little bit easier with a socket. As I say, I don't use anything on these gaskets, I never have done. I just use dry gaskets. And uh, hopefully they don't leak. When I welded the uh, bracket on, I had to uh, glass the bottom of the plate off because it did distort it a little bit. But nothing major. Just they probably distorted from the factory for two years. I don't know whether they just stamped out. But, uh, I just like to just nipple. I just so it's not a very big ratchet, I just nipple it tight around because I do sink a bit. And that's that's about that in. Uh, dry and plug a wipe off. a bit so I can show you. Our filter. I've been using uh, This is a gallon, a gallon I had left over from last year. I always use this Morris's Gold Fill 2050, never use anything else. I don't know what these oil filters are like, it's the first, in fact, I've got to make sure it fits because I've never used this before. It's uh, Yeah, we're looking good. I've uh, brought it off eBay. Um, the many cheap ones. I used to all use MDGO ones, but they seem to have gone up in price now. They seem to have jumped. But there's a bloke on uh, YouTube selling these for four quid. Delivered. Um, Rena, uh, Citroen 2CV. Hello, Gamer Well. See if they go. Got nothing to lose. You know, even your best bloody oil filters now are Chinese, made in bloody China, and Christ knows where else.
¿Quién es mucho San Kernin? Drop more in, I think. That'll do. Just get it. Oh, I don't know whether you can see this or not now. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. It's rather black under there. Right. I think to open the this one here. Another reason I like these filters. I mean, I don't know what the filtration is like, but one thing I like them, they're 95% black. They've got a bit of white writing on them. But, uh, now, I have to use this for a simple reason, like I say, I just cannot physically get my hand around it to tighten it. It's not, it's not tight, it's just, uh, it slips more than anything. This, that's all it gets. No more it would be on top if it was if I could get at it. But I can't. So there it is. As you can see it's tucked up. Tucked up down there, it lives somewhere down there. You can just see the pipes on it and the brackets take you on the other side. You can just see down there, look. I think you can just about see it down there. So it's got a gusset welded in the back to strengthen it up. Just to nail this right, I'm back. I just had to go and get some uh, gas for my lighter at the other garage. I watch this now, it's gonna flare up.
one more. Oh, Jesus. Barely my fingers. So that's going to have to do. Oh, yeah, I can feel that soft. That's soft, definitely. Get some of the crap off it. And that's all ready to go back on. Yeah, oh, I forgot to bring the camera around to show you, but so I'm only putting the plug in and just tightening it back up. Back down again. Yeah, I've just done now down here what I'm going to do is, if I can find it, put my magnet back on. If I can get off the bloody bench now. There's a thing on YouTube about them where somebody cuts them apart and has a look. Worth having a look if you use them. How yeah, they've been assembled and the seams on the pleats are not split open and yeah, made me think twice about using Fram. <laughs> <laughs> 